Hello there everybody, this is Alex from Hardcore and Guides, bringing my guide for Bioshock 2 on hard difficulty using no feeder chambers. Today is episode 8, and we are doing Outer Persephone. I forgot what the hell fucking game I was playing for a second there. So, today is going to be one of the shortest parts of this entire guide. And I don't know if this is exactly the smallest part. Probably is, because that's almost like 8. 8, 9, 10 minutes or something like that. There's not much really going on here besides, like, a couple big sister fights. I did cut out the entire little sister section of you running around as a little sister. So, that's mostly just to save time, so I don't have to sit here and just blab. Like I've been doing for the past few videos. But the next video is going to be probably like an hour and a half. So, we've got a big one coming. And this is a great time to finally be able to take a break from those big, those really big ass videos that I, I've been doing. And now we are going to basically be heading into, I'm trying to think of what the hell the place is called. I'm not really sure, well, you're pretty much on the track of going to Inner Persephone. That's the entire point, is you're going to try to go find Eleanor and save her pretty much. And there's, I think, a couple fights. You end up getting Eleanor as a plasmid, which is pretty badass. She's really helpful. You basically get a big sister with you. There is no sisters left for, like, you know, little sister gr uh, grinding or anything like that. There's none of those. You don't have to worry about little sisters anymore. Because in the last episode, I think that was, like, the last one we took care of. The last little sister we had to deal with, so. We're all done with that. I go over here, I hack what looked to be like, I think, a vending machine, which is pretty much practically pointless, because there is one that is in the next room ahead of us, so we don't need to worry about that one. That was just something I did. Grab the diaries, of course, and I think this is finally when I got the historian diary, or the historian trophy, I mean, because you only need to collect a hundred diaries, and that's it. There's no limit. I mean, well, the, well I guess I hacked that bot then, okay. Well, the only limit to it is of course, you know, having a hundred diaries to collect. You don't have to collect every single diary in the game, which is awesome. Granted, I mean, Bioshock 1 didn't make it too hard to do that either, because most of them were just right there. And there was a few out of the way, of course, but... For the most part, they're, they're rather easy to get. And rather easy to see, I think. Except for, like, Infinite. I feel like Infinite's, like, the one that they really just hide them. They hide them pretty damn well, for the most part. At least, I, I think so. I don't know if you have to collect all the box phones in that one or not, I don't remember. But, after I get down with Bioshock 2, which we're almost close to being done, we are going to start up with Bayonetta 2, or Bayonetta 1 on hard difficulty. And I am so ready for that to happen. I am so ready. I've been waiting for a long time for that one to happen. Alright, I still have like four videos worth of footage, or footage to record commentary for. To edit and do commentary for, so that's what I'm waiting for. Funny enough, it, it's starting to seem like since I'm putting so much effort into these videos, on this second channel that my main channel is basically dead, which it pretty much is. I mean, after all those years of putting up with it, it's it's practically just dead. You know, like, every day it keeps getting, like, new people. Well, I wouldn't say every day. At least almost every day. It usually gets new people in there. And I feel like it... I feel like kind of an asshole for just, you know, neglect, neglecting my channel. Because I'm so busy over here instead. I'd rather, I'd rather just do this, to be honest with you. But that that's just me. I would much rather just work on this channel than I would the main channel because there's really nothing going on the main channel. There's there's things I would like to do for it and there's different videos I'd love to do. But the, the main channel is so disorganized now that it's basically just a pile of shit and I don't really care. Now, when I say projects, there's there's actual videos. Or when I say videos, they're... they're fuck! They're practically projects I want to work on. That's what I want to do. Okay, so this looks like... What's that? Eve Vampire? So now you can actually just... Yeah, I believe that's what it was. You basically just, you know, you drill somebody and you get Eve at it. So this is the, uh, two big sister fight right here. They're not really that tough, to be honest with you. I mean, granted, you have Eleanor here with you that you can use. Well, no, 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 she comes up later. This is before Eleanor, okay. So I had many turrets on hand. I had rockets. Just launch everything that you have at them. There is a pile of water you can use to your advantage here to, you know, shock them, of course. You could just fight them like you knew normally with any other big sisters are really not that tough anymore not after like the third one or so you know like once you finally start getting your powers to be really really strong they're really not that fucking tough at all because at this point you pretty much have almost all your weapons upgraded you have almost all your plasmas upgraded 
you more, more than likely you probably do. And, you, well, you wouldn't have all your weapons upgraded, but you have at least the main ones upgraded, so you're really doing a hefty amount of damage to them. Regardless. I didn't really, like, upgrade the rocket launcher that much, or the grenade launcher that much, just because I didn't, like, really use it as often as I should. Yeah, it's a cool weapon, but I always upgrade, like, the, the weapons I get firsthand. And that's the same thing with, like, Bioshock 1. Like, I'd always focus mostly on upgrading the weapons I got first. You know, i.e. the revolver and the Tommy gun and the shotgun are the main combatants of my upgrading, I think. Or the main weapons I used a lot of. And then there's, like, the grenade launcher, the crossbow, you know, which... Eh, I mean, the crossbow's... Just, eh, it's not really much, to be honest with you. I feel like... That, that's just to me, though. I don't know. So, now we're done with that. Now we have Eleanor as our buddy. And we should actually have the plasma. I think it, that's when you finally unlock the whole, think, plasma slot trophy for it. Because, like, now... Yeah, see, now, now it gives me the plasma trophy. And now I... That must have been it. It's one of those. I don't know. So now I got a couple of these trophies done. You get full plasma slots, and I think you get all the main plasmas unlocked. And this is pretty awesome. This is a pretty badass plasma, though, to be honest with you. Because she does stay there for a while. There's no upgrading to it. She's just there to help you out, which is really nice, really helpful. Especially on thug splicers. Or brute splicers, I mean, that come out eventually. Uh, especially in the next area. When you're just attacked by hordes of dudes. And this is when they start off with the hordes of enemies here. I mean, yeah, they've been doing that the entire game. But right now, this is where she's really going to come in handy. Like, big time. Yeah, it does waste an entire bar of Eve, but it's totally useful. So, I'd recommend at least, you know, keep it on hand at all times. By all times, I mean, like, keep it in your, your slots. Don't don't switch it out. It, it's really good. It's a really good plasma. For sure. So, the Thug Splicers are really practically nothing anymore. They, the, like, every pla or every Splicer, I feel like, up to this point, has been somewhat kind of, you know, tough, I guess. Like, the Brute Spicers, for example, back in Siren Alley were really fucking annoying. Because there was just so damn many of them, you know? Yeah, that wasn't the first place you've seen them at, but they were still annoying. And same thing with the Spire Spicers. Like, you could get killed instantly if you just fuck up. You know, Dionysus Park had some pretty tough, you know... Uh, well, Big Days weren't really tough. They had some pretty tough Spire Spicers, and they just sent, like, a horde of Houdinis on your ass. And just, like, a horde of fucking guys that just kept coming and coming and coming. And then, you know... She's going Freaking Alexander the Great's area. Trench. Not much of anything. <laughs> yeah, you had alphas, but they're not they are not shit, dude. They're not shit at all. So now we're pretty much done with this entire video, and I'm so glad that these videos have finally become short for once. But the next episode is going to be like an hour and a half long, so get ready to enjoy an hour and a half of me of just doing rather nothing and looking for a fucking door to go through. Yeah, I spent like... 10 minutes trying to find a stupid code. Alright, anyway, guys. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time we'll play some more Bioshock 2 on hard difficulty. No feature chambers, and we'll do Inner Persephone next. So, as always, take care, everybody.